Hello and welcome back to part two in our ledge climbing tutorial. This mini series was voted for by my patron, so massive thank you to all those who voted and obviously thank you for your support. In this episode, we're carrying on from where we left off and where we left off was getting the player character to detect a ledge and get them to hang in mid air. So we got it doing what we want to do. However, we now need to change the animation to make it look like what we wanted to do. So we already imported the animation that I've provided. If you haven't yet downloaded it, find the link in the description below and you can freely download it and freely use it as much as you like. And we're going to use it to uh, play on a montage based on its hang here. So we're going to start off by looking at that hang function that we started with last time. And I've disconnected my is climbing uh, boolean at the moment because I just want to focus on just the animation. So I'm going to right click and search for play montage and you want uh, this one here. We play a montage on a skeletal mesh component. Plug that into the hang event. The skeletal mesh will come from your component list. So drag out your mesh for the mannequin out and plug that in. The montage you want to play, you just click on the drop down and choose your hang to crouch fixed montage. This is the thing we went through in the last episode. The play rate, we're going to set to zero because I don't want it to animate. I just want it to go to the first frame and stop. So zero on the play rate. Started position zero and starting section none. I'm then going to go out after this and take it to be paused. So we're going to get an Im instance of the mesh and we're going to take it to pause montage. And we're going to take it to pause the hang to crouch fixed montage. That way he stays in the hanging position. I then at the end of that want to change that to the set is climbing to true. So let's just position this a little way there. And let's hit compile and close that. So now if I push play, so I'll go up to the ledge and ah, the montage isn't playing. This is something I forgot in that the third person template by default, the animation blueprint isn't set up to receive montages. So to fix that, you go to the mannequin folder into the animations and you'll find the animation blueprint. And in order for an animation blueprint to be able to receive montages, the anim graph must have a slot defined. So go to anim graph and between these two, you want to put in a slot. So drag out from there to slot, default slot. And that's where the montage will sort of take over and do its thing. So hit compile, get that all connected up. And now if I test it out, we should see the animation play. There we go. So we've got a few things to fix regarding its uh, location, height and adjustments and so forth. But let's test it again with different location. And there you go. So as I said, we just need to adjust the various heights and movement and so forth to make it lined up perfectly to the ledge. And, and that's what we can do now. So the way we handle that is through using a node called move component two. So after I've done my climbing, we're going, going to do set uh, move component two, and that'll be plugged into move. On here, we need to determine the component, the target location, and the target rotation. So the, the component we're going to be moving is the capsule component. So drag that out and hook that into the component. Okay, so next we're going to work on the target relative location. And for that, we're going to be using our wall location and wall normal, as well as a new one, which we haven't got in here, called height uh, location as well. So go on your height trace, and we're just going to drag out our out hit location here, and promote that to a variable, and call that height location. And we're going to plug that in to the true there. That's all set up for us. Then go back to your event graph onto the move component two, and we're going to drag out the uh, wall location and the wall normal and the height location. And using these, we can combine them to create a new vector. So with target relative location, drag this out and do make vector. 
Now the Z is the easiest one to do and that requires the height location. So split the height location into the three separate floats and we're then going to take out from there and do minus a float. And we're going to take away a little value and plug that into the Z here. Now the value we're going to take away is going to come from our capsule's size and shape. More specifically, it's height. So if we go to the capsule here and then go to the right hand side, you can see the capsule half height. Now we know we're going from the pelvis and the pelvis is roughly in the middle of our capsule here. So if we took away the half height, we would get the correct height that we need. So on the event graph, take away 96. And that gets us our height. Next onto X and Y. Now X and Y is going to vary based on which way we're facing. That's why we need the wall normal. The wall normal gives us a direction the wall is facing. So we're going to take the normal out and multiply that by a float. And this is how far away from the wall the capsule will be positioned. Now I've done this before with some tweaking. So I know a good number for this in this instance is 10. But you tweak this number to your own liking and based on your own models. So once you've got that, we're then going to add these two values together. So just do add vector and plug those two in. This gives us a new vector here. So now we can split this and get X and Y and plug those into our make vector. And that's it. That's all we have to do for the location. For the rotation, we're going to take the normal. So we're just going to move that down here. Take the normal that we've got here already. I'm going to inverse it, so multiply that by negative 1. And then you drag out and do make rot from x. And now take the direction vector and make it a rotation. So then we'll drag that rotation onto our target relative rotation, and that will make sure the character is in flush perpendicular to the wall. Okay, um, the rest of this node it, we can leave as is or we can tick what we want. So I'm going to tick ease out and ease in and over time I'm going to leave as 0.2. Again, you can tweak these as much as you like based on your own wants and desires. Hit compile and let's see how that works. So what's going to happen is the capsule is going to move and because everything else is attached to the capsule, it should go with it. Okay, so we've got some clipping issues there. But let's see if it works the same on other directions, just to make sure it's not a, a fluke. So there you go. We've got some capsule collision issues. And that comes down from that 10 there. So obviously my 10 value is a bit too close there. So let's tweak that 10 value. And let's do uh, 22. Hit compile. So I hit play. Run up to a ledge. Jump up and see where we're at. So obviously that's clipping. So that 10 value I mentioned was a little bit off. So that's fine, we can just tweak that. So let's change that to say, let's do 20. And just quick, keep uh, tweaking those numbers until you get it looking correct. Not too bad. Let's try that again from a different angle. Make sure you do test it on different angles. Make sure it's all okay there. So not too bad there, maybe a little bit more up higher by the looks of it. So we're going to tweak that number a little bit on 96 here and take away a little bit less. So let's do, let's do 90. And I believe that's the right direction we want to go in. That's looking a bit better, maybe a bit higher. Let's change that maybe to 87. And you just keep doing this until you fine tune the numbers to match what you want. Okay, that's not looking too bad actually. The fingers are over the edge, which is correct. And my knees are touching the wall, which is correct. Uh, yes, I'm happy with this. Okay, so now we've got this animation set up, ready to go. So once you've got that and you're happy with it, um, we then are finished with the hang code here. So I'm just going to comment this out and call this hanging. So that's how you hang, but what about actually climbing up? Well, we're going to tackle that in the next part. So join us in the next part where we do actual climbing up and the dropping down from that hang position. You can watch that part over on Patreon right now on patreon.com forward slash where if you support me for just $1, you get access to all my videos before anyone else. 
as well as many other benefits. A big thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that, hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any of my future content. Thanks so much for watching and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'll see you all next time. Bye.